what's up everyone? Eddie Martinez here with The Recording Connection and welcome to your additional supplemental video for lesson number nine, Pro Tools Basics. Now in this video what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cover some file management techniques. So fire for Pro Tools and we'll get started. Alright guys, so what we're going to be going over right now, if you have a Pro Tools session pulled up, if not then you'll just follow along by watching this video and then when you get Pro Tools you'll go ahead and uh, re-watch this video. That's fine. But what we're going to go over right now is how to save some space on your hard drive, which is really important. This is actually one of the first habits that you really need to get into uh, because you'll notice that you know once you start working on a lot of projects, a lot of different sessions there, uh, your hard drive will get you know pretty blown up really fast. You know you'll it'll take up a lot of space. Uh, whether you're working with an external hard drive or an internal hard drive, either way, you want to go ahead and minimize your hard drive uh, space that's be actually being occupied by clips that aren't even used in an arrangement. So uh, by that what I mean is uh, every clip that you see here on on the right is actually not a part of this arrangement. Uh, the ones that are on this arrangement are actually on this clips area but so are a bunch of additional ones that actually make it to your hard drive which is just occupying a uh, space which it doesn't need to. So what you want to do is uh, delete those additional clips that aren't, aren't even being used in an arrangement. Okay, so first off, you want to make sure that you're satisfied with your mix, okay? Because once you start deleting these additional clips, you'll have pretty much no way of getting back to them, okay? So um, you first want to make sure that this is the exact way that you want your clip to work. And a lot of times you could just uh, delete these clips uh, as they as you're actually recording them. So you know like, oh, that was just a terrible take, I'll never use it, and you'll just automatically go to your clip and then, uh, you know, just delete it real simple. Um, you just go to clear and it's it's out of there or you do the the key command which is listed right here okay uh, another thing that you could do if you just want to go ahead and get rid of a bunch of clips that you know you're not gonna use in this exact arrangement or ever you could just go by select and go to uh, unused right here and uh, oops I, I did that a little quickly let me try that again go to select go to unused okay there's a key command right there which is a uh, shift command U and it selected all the actual uh, clips here that, that actually aren't being used in this arrangement right here. And there's actually a lot because all this is just a, a loop, loops of the same clip. You know, these uh, probably, you know, eight to ten clips that are actually being used. All these other ones were just bad takes and, you know, um, perhaps just uh, like identical clips that aren't really necessary to be on the hard drive in order for this to be possible. Uh, this little arrangement to be possible. So what you want to do at this point, now you have all your clips selected, hit control, or you can go back, uh, you know it's probably preferred if you just go to uh, clear or do the shortcut, uh, short key command which is going to be command shift B. So you hit clear and then it'll give you a, an option. Oh, would you like to go ahead and uh, remove these from the session or permanent, permanently delete them uh, from your hard drive? And you could either do, uh, you know, del just delete them out, out of the the clips area so you just don't have to see them. Or you can go ahead and reduce that space in your hard drive and uh, actually just delete them all together. And actually you don't reduce the space, you just, uh, you know, make more space for your hard drive. So you, you just go ahead and click remove. And now they're off your hard drive. As simple as that, it just went ahead and just deleted all of them as you can see. And my arrangement hasn't been altered in any uh, way, shape, or form. So this is one of the types of things that you definitely want to get used to doing right away as you are, you know, making mixes so that you just save that hard drive space. All right, guys, that's all the information that I have for you today. But of course, it's up to you to put this knowledge to use. Now, don't forget to jump back into your recording connection workbook and just double check to see if you have any mandatory supplemental reading assignments to turn in for this week. Now, if you feel shaky on any of this material, what you need to do is go back into your provided textbook and reread that material. Just remember that these videos are only a supplement to your education, okay? Now, if you're watching this video online and you want to know more about the recording process uh, and you want to learn how to become a recording engineer in just six months, what you need to do is you need to check out the recordingconnection.com or call the provided number. Our staff is actually going to set you up with an engineer in your town or in a town near you. We have tons of locations all across the U.S. and parts of Canada, and we're actually really proud to say that we have more than a 72% higher in success rate thanks to our student advisor that comes with your enrollment. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys a little bit later.